Hello, everybody. It is the podcast that you all should be liking and subscribing and telling your friends about. Right. But today we are going to cover the most controversial topic (laughs) ever known to man. So we cover a lot of things, talk about diet, exercise, food intake, motivation, eggs can kill you, all that fun stuff. But this is the worst. So Kelly already knows what it is, but I'm going to tell you what it is. So you can't you can't hate me or her. They're not going to hate me well, because <laughs> I have a differing opinion on this. No, she doesn't. She I agrees do. with me like my wife does all the time, agrees with me, right? So we are going to talk about fair food and it, it's nutritional pitfalls. So now I will... Not say I've eaten any no fair food this year. I've only had a cup of fries, a cup, so a fistful. If I asked your wife, would she agree with what you're saying? She would probably say I ate all of them, but I know that's a lie (laughs) because I did not get the get the cup with all the fries in it. I got it with like the top half. So no lies from me. So you took the good ones. No, she took the top part. And then once it was that part down, I got the rest. <laughs> She's like, oh, you want, want some? I'm like, yeah, I'll have a couple. You know, it's like no carbs, whatever. Didn't really deal with it. But I tell my husband to get his own. To get his own. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, usually that's a good thing. She'll, I mean, do you really want to spend like 14 bucks on like a bucket of fries? That's true. It's that's disgusting. ridiculously expensive. Yeah. So uh, as you... If you know me personally, or if you're my wife, she can probably tell you, I am not into fairs at all. I don't like the environment, don't want to be around skanky teenagers, and I added that in there because I didn't put that in there, but I added it. Um, I didn't say nothing about that. Um, <laughs> she, she, I, she could look at her eyes. I might have been one of those skanky teenagers well, okay. when I was young. I think we all were. Maybe not myself, because what am I going to wear, like shorty short shorts? <laughs> No, no, t- no guy wants to wear shorty short shorts, but I'm just saying, you know, as you get older, you look at it, you're like, what the hell are they I wearing? I do now because yeah. I have a, a nine-year-old daughter, and I think to myself, oh, my God, if she ever thinks she's going to leave the house wearing what some of these girls wear. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Johanna see that all the time. Oh, I'm my like, gosh. I'm like, if you ever let our daughter wear that, I will kill you. Oh. But yeah. this is not going to happen. We're all on the same page. So, like I said, I'm not into fairs, I'm not into the food, I'm not into really the environment at all. When we talk about fair, I think maybe like depending on who's listening, we're talking about like these the county fairs, yeah, um, or the state fairs where you know they have like all the farm animals and you know the farm stuff like animals that. Yes. and shit everywhere. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, those are the greatest. And all the food. And all the food. So the worst thing about it is you walk into the walk into the fair. Literally 200 feet, there's like 17 vendors. Hey, (laughs) fried this, fried that. And just the biggest thing or gripe I have is, you know, you go to McDonald's, they show you the Big Mac has like 700 calories. Right. There's no calorie count on any of these things. No, there's definitely not. And it's like how much, okay, I'm going to have a lemonade. How much is that? I'm going to have waffle, like whatever those waffle things are called. I don't know. Funnel cakes. That's oh, those are my how, favorite. How many calories are in one funnel cake? But... You know, most the most important thing is like how are you gonna burn all that off? Especially you don't know. You're like, oh, okay, it's like 300 calories. It's nothing, not necessarily. But um, how are you gonna burn that off? So Kelly, I know you are out here in the country, and she loves fairs, and <laughs> she does all that stuff. I guess I don't know. Actually, I you know we, we do live out in the country, and we have like a little farm. But um, I want to get my daughter into the 4-H thing and getting her showing some stuff at the fair. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But honestly, we haven't been to a fair in a couple of years because we just haven't been able to fit it into our jam-packed summer schedules. So we we didn't go to the Medina County Fair this year, um, and we didn't go last year, Um, but I have to say that I like going to the fair, and um, I love fair food. She loves it. I love fair food. I it. My favorites are the funnel cakes and, um, oh gosh, what else? My husband likes the cheese on a stick. 
Um, I've never tried the fried Oreos, but they sound kind of good. Yeah, well, they, my wife brought them home. I didn't eat any. She ate them, and that's fine. But they don't look that good. They look like pierogies because they're just yeah. soaked in all that batter. But, I mean, once she cracked it open, you can just smell the Oreos like, oh, that's uh, that smells good. <sighs> I, uh, I'm a sweets person. I like sugar. And so I, I don't typically go to the fair to eat like the, the gyros and, and those, well, the yeah, savory you can things. get those anywhere. Really. Right. So yeah. I go for like funnel cakes and elephant ears. Um, and I also kind of like those, um, apple dumplings that they have. With okay. The, so yeah. like when I go to the fair, I'm, I'm not even lying. I might get all three of those things. Oh, good. Then this is really going to apply to you now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. She eats them all herself. So like I said before, I don't like fairs. I don't need to go in the temptation, the food that's there, and all the wonderful smells and all that fun stuff. But if I was to choose something, if I was just like going to splurge, I guess, I'd probably try those deep fried Oreos because I haven't had one. And Oreos are just by itself are at the bomb anyways. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They don't look ple- – it doesn't look pleasing when it comes out. It's literally like just a doughy square and then – but it smells like heaven. So <laughs> – Oh, many people do fairs. Um, so when did they kind of start? So while well, I kind of scoured the internet, looked over all this research, spent hours on this, not really. But the, <laughs> the first state fair was actually in 1841, New York, but it was the 1904 fair in St. Louis that the fair go- goers were introduced to fast food, which was in that time like a hot dog ice cream, and such things that you can be eaten as you walk. Not currently, as it's probably constructed now. You go to Taco Bell, you get fast food, and it's disgusting burritos. Even at the fair, I mean, it's really hard to walk and eat a funnel cake. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. the, the plate is, like, tiny, and the <laughs> yeah, funnel cake's, like, like powdered seven, sugar. seven inches tall, and you're, like... Powdered oh, sugar all over your face yeah, how am I and supposed your to clothes. Eat this? <laughs> right, so... And since the fair foods have been progress, you know, way beyond caramel apples, corn on the cob, and nachos. I mean, that's pretty reasonable, pretty sensible. Everything appears to be battered, deep fried. This is true. Cookies, and candy bars, bananas, cheesecake I saw. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. I would eat that. I, would I don't that. like fried cheesecake. I love cheesecake, but I don't, I don't like warm cheesecake. Yeah, that's probably Ugh. true, yeah. Maybe if they warmed, maybe they fried it and froze it. So it's cold. I don't, I don't know. know. So everything really tastes way better when it's fried, right? French fries, chicken nuggets, KFC is <laughs> still in business. <laughs> right. So obviously it must be good. So most of you can guess these foods are high in fat and calories. So we'll kind of go over this list and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have her take the brunt of this so she feels really guilty. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't feel guilty yeah. though. All right. And I'm going to tell you why at the end, too, All right. because you and I have differing views on this. <laughs> All right. So here's a list of what I found, some common foods and the calories they have. So, Kelly, take it away. Oh, let's see here. Fried Snickers. Definitely won't be hangry after this. Like the commercials. But see, like a fried fried Snicker, that, the, the, I don't know, and they're kind of like just what is a regular size Snickers bar? I'm guessing. So, I mean. It's not very big. Well, I think they're good by themselves without it. So, it's like kind of overkill. I would be hangry again in a half hour if I <laughs> only ate just that one fried Snickers bar. But anyway, it, it is a lot though. It's 444 calories and 29 grams of fat. But still, the, the physical amount of that food and, of course, you know, like the, the nutritional composition, I would not be full for more than like half hour, 45 oh, yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like Chinese food, yeah. Exactly. So I'll cover fried Twinkie. I haven't had, I haven't actually seen those at the fair, but let's see, 420 calories and 34 grams of fat. So uh, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Twinkies, yeah, so I'm that not. wouldn't be worth it to me. But the next <laughs> one is my favorite. It's a funnel cake, and this is probably, ooh, it looks like one of the worst. 760 calories and 44 grams of fat, which is nearly half of some people's daily calorie intake. So, like, say I was trying, um, like, I was on a, some sort of a crazy weight loss plan where, you know, I'm trying to eat 1,400 calories a day. Eating one of those covers a little bit more than half 
of that's my cra- daily. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a lot. So fried cheesecake definitely sounds amazing. Man. That's how I wrote it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 655 calories, 47 grams of fat, which is, I mean, there's a lot of fat in cheesecake itself. Yes. Regardless. Yes. But that's just even bumping it up just a little bit more. And then we got this giant turkey leg. So have you gone to the Warrior Dash or anything like that? Yeah, I've been to one. Yeah, so I actually ate, I don't know if I ate the whole thing or not, but it's basically this big drum, or was, yeah, turkey leg. It's yeah. huge. It's like the size of your forearm. I oh. would never think that that was that, that, uh, you haven't even said the calorie count yet, but like. It's a lot. It is. Yeah. I would totally underestimate that. I mean, so what I, what I found is it's. 1,136 calories and 54 grams of fat. Now, a lot of that's going to be protein, but still, if you're eating one... So you run a race, okay, it's a three, it's a 5K, it's going to burn some calories, but you're you're not going to be burning 1,000 calories within a 5K. So, So let's make up a meal. So you're at the fair and you're like, hey, babe, let's get some fair food. Let's say you're just ordering for one person because we're going to split that, so... Let's say I want a funnel cake, I want a turkey leg, and fried Snickers. So I pick kind of the three bad, Ooh. worst ones. Most people don't go this far, but let's say you did. Obviously, we know Kelly does. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's I'm going to tell you why at the end. <laughs> I know. Can't wait. So that's a whopping 2,340 calories. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a lot. 157 grams of fat. Now, most people, this is a crazy amount of food, so let's say, let's say you split it with your husband or wife or whatever. Just because they're there, you have to feed them too, right? So yes, because in calories, there's a lot, and that's also a lot of money, like 20 bucks or more. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I mean, we usually spend at least $20 on yes, food. Yes, it can be expensive. So we split this in deliciousness into about 11, a little over 1,100 calories per person. So I don't share well. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm surprised I'm allowed in your house, see? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give you any of my food. No, you didn't. So <laughs> so we have an average man, an average woman, just just based on guests. So let's see how many miles we would need to walk at, let's say, two and a half to three and a half mile per hour pace. So average man's about 180 pounds. So let's count how many miles. One, two... Three. I'm not going to count all the way up because it's going to take forever. Four, five. Okay, six miles. That's a lot, right? Yeah, that's six a lot. Miles. That's a lot of miles. But like I said, I think in one other podcast we talked about how the average person probably isn't walking more than a mile a day. So. Yeah, six miles. You know, six miles. That's a lot. Nope, wrong. It will actually take roughly twelve miles to burn that off. So. You know, you're feeling really zealous. You're going to put another one and a half, one point one miles in there, and guess what? You're halfway done with a marathon. So Ooh. let's put it in res- perspective. You you ate all those all that delicious food. You got to walk half a marathon just to burn all that off. And just for if you're looking for the female side, same thing. 160 pound female. You're gonna have to walk just over that just to get all those calories off, which is ridiculous. Just in and of itself to think that I ate all these. At the fair, you're gonna. Are you gonna really walk 13 and a half miles at the fair? <laughs> Definitely. I don't not. even want to walk a mile at the fair. So <laughs> let alone that many. So, all right. So Kelly, what's kind of what's what, what's your take on all this stuff? So I work with a you know I work with quite a few clients in my fitness studio, and um, actually uh, quite a few of them came in this past week and very sheepishly kind of said, I went to the fair and I said. Well, that's great. Did you enjoy yourself? <laughs> that's good. Or I had a couple say, I'm going to the fair tonight. And they want to know like what I think they should do. Like what to eat, what to stay away yes, from, something. Yes. Yeah. So here's my take on the fair. Unless you are going to multiple county fairs or unless you're spending an entire week at the fair, like if you've got something entered in a, as a 4-H project right. and you are going to be there every day, going like kind of going off the rails, even like in a big way for one day out of, I mean, I go, if, if I go to the fair at all, it's once a year, 
So to me, it doesn't seem like a huge deal when I want to sample and I do eat like most of like all of the, the ones that I like. So I'll get a funnel cake and I will get, um, you know, the, uh, the apple dumpling thing. And, you know, usually there's something else. I might eat some of my husband's fries or whatever, if he'll share. Um, so honestly, I don't see this as a big deal. Um, and I just, I don't treat it as a big deal. And that's what I tell my clients. It's one day out of the year. So unless you're there every day, don't worry about it. If you're going to eat it, at least allow yourself to sit down and enjoy that food. And you may find that you naturally are inclined to eat less. So like, instead of walking around with the food, sit down somewhere and eat it because you're going to be more aware of like how much you're eating and you're going to be more aware of your fullness levels. And you may decide, you know what? I don't need to eat all this. Like after the first couple bites, it loses its taste anyway. So yeah, start think, paying attention to that. I think once you get in the satiety thing comes into effect too. So yeah. you're like you get like halfway through your funnel cake, you're like, I'm kind of like done. Right. I'm exactly. Yeah. So instead of, you know, like when I mindlessly eat, yeah, I'm going to eat the whole funnel cake. But what I find anymore is that if I actually slow down and start to pay attention to the taste of things, I don't eat as much. So like I said, I, I tend to tell people that, hey, you know, if you're going to the fair and it's once... Just enjoy yourself, get what you want, enjoy yourself and don't worry about it. I will say that one other tip that I could give people about that is if you can try to go to the fair and eat that meal earlier in the day, um, your body is at greatest digestive power between the hours of like noon and 2 PM. That means you're going to digest the food better and more fully and if you eat that as your noon or your midday meal, you, because you're probably going to be pretty full and feel crappy, you might eat a little bit less at dinner. So rather than eating what you normally would all day, and then you go to the fair in the evening and you just load up on all this crap. Right. Cause it's almost like being just conscious of like, okay, I already ate all day long and I'm going to go to the fair and eat just way more than I should. Yes. Anyway, yes. So. I just find it's much easier. Like, you know, I get the satisfaction of getting what I want if we go at like noon or one o'clock and then at dinner time, I'll still probably eat something. Mm -hmm. but I won't be inclined to like eat a lot because I usually feel like crap. <laughs> right. And I know my wife, she, so she got like the Oreos and the fry, uh, fries and thing. I'm like, I don't care. Like just eat it. Enjoy it. It's not like you, it's not like, like you said, the fair only comes around really once a year. Right. It's not like you're going home and you crack home with a bag of Oreos and you're deep frying every single one. I'm like, right. that, that's kind of, if you're doing that, there might be, That's that might trouble. be a problem, you know, right. but if you are, if you are eating this food a lot, if you are eating processed foods, even if it's not from the fair, but like if you're eating McDonald's and all this crap every day, then yeah, you're going to have some health problems. You're going to struggle with your weight. Um, so, you know, but I generally eat pretty healthy. Um, and I coach my clients to do the same, but when it comes to something like the fair, something that happens once a year, um, I, you know, I just tend not to worry about it. Yeah. It's not going to kill you. Right. Right. I mean, if you're like me, it will kill me, but yeah, especially right. like with you doing keto, I'm sure like if you go off plan, you feel just awful, uh, don't you? Not really. No? I don't. No, I can. I actually, so uh, a while back I did like one like carb load and I, I had like a half a pizza. Yeah. Like a whole bag of Twizzlers and all this stuff. And I go to bed. I'm like, I feel great. <laughs> I don't <laughs> feel, I usually you're like, you're like, you feel bloated and you feel disgusting. I'm like, I feel awesome. Wow. I don't know why. When I was doing low carb, like really in, intensely into the low carb thing, um, and I would eat like some bread or we'd go out to dinner or I'd have a cheat meal. Oh my gosh, it would make me feel terrible. Well, I'd enjoy, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. So I right. didn't feel guilty about doing it. I'm okay. like, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go all, all out and just say F it. Right. But, you know, but the next day I was back on it anyways. I felt fine. The F it thing always got me in trouble. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it, def it definitely does. So, you know, if you're going to go to the fair, I, I agree with Kelly, you know, if it's, it's once a year, I don't do it just because I don't like the fair anyways, but you know, at least be sensible. Don't, don't go to the fair and then go to the fair again. And then, Hey, guess we, guess what? Let's go to the other fair down the road. So, right. you know, that's always not a good thing. If, so. if you're going to go to like the fair multiple times, you're going to go to multiple fairs and you're going to eat, you know, that's at the point where I start to tell somebody, you know, you're probably going to have to sort of manage like right. 
like maybe have a little bit of the of the food when you go but you know don't overdo it every time yeah we have two fairs so we have the one that's local and then we have the one that's like on our block right oh (laughs) right right so we're we're getting a double double whammy (laughs) every every year but you know anyway it's all good good and fun but like she said Obviously, be mindful. Eat it, and eat it earlier in the day if you can, or even if you're going to go later. You know, kind of watch what you're eating prior to. Maybe don't eat, you know, five guys for lunch or something like that. Right. You know, <laughs> kind of kind of plan it out. Let's say, let's say. So you can hate me if you want. I will thrive off all your hate, but. You can love Kelly, which is fine. If you're going to eat it, at least enjoy it. All right. Well, everybody, this is Initiative Project. I don't think you have anything else to add, right? I don't. All right. We will see you next time. All right. Bye. Hey, everyone. This is TJ and Kelly with the Initiative Project Podcast. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions you'd like us to cover, please email us at initiativepodcast.com. See you next time.